What do you think, Kev? I like it. It's pretty good. I also was thinking, I might as well it's add. It's definitely very unique. Yeah, it's very. Oh, well, I also made sure it was in the same sort of space of Obscura Sonova, as you know, it's 2078. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you know, that Paulson's now a saint. Paulson. <laughs> 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 uh, I like how it kind of contrasts Obscurus, too, because Obscurus is more like, yes, it's, it's kind of like these lifeless characters who are maybe robots. Which, with, yeah, this which is that's all another, about, like, being human. <laughs> well, I mean, it could also hint that maybe he himself isn't as human as we all think, because he just got, like, half his subconscious extracted into an egg, <laughs> yeah. even though he has some humanoid instincts that he can kill himself with. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think one thing that um, we should maybe work on... You the know, Jason Jason situation? No? Because that, that's one thing I was worried about, because the psychiatrist addresses the egg as Jason, and obviously the hmm. Kevin playing Jason. Him egg? Or yeah. J? Something. Yeah. And they are yeah. both that's Jason, though. Yeah, they yeah. are technically both Jason. That's why I wrote it as Jason and Jason, because I just <laughs> yeah. thought, you know... Yeah, that could get a little tricky. But the one thing I was thinking of was, um, like, it, I thought about it initially with, like, the very first scene. Was, like, it's a lot, it's obviously a lot of talking, and... Well, it definitely needs a good amount of talking to yeah, understand Yeah, yeah, it's the kind of story plot. where it needs a lot of talking. But if you could, if, like, there's just ways to have, like... Dr. Cauley, like, doing something while he's kind of, like, because the first scene is essentially him, like, explaining the premise of the film to the and, egg. Essentially, but also at the same time, this is the first time the egg's ever woken up. And so right. it hasn't fully, he's just like, I'm Dr. Cauley, I'm your psychiatrist. Right. Uh, you just went through a huge surgery. Uh, what's today's date? Yeah. I don't know. I was just thinking, like, if you can't, if you see it, if you see like any opportunities for characters to just be like doing things while they talk, okay. I feel like it's a way to kind of color the world a little bit more. So like you could have him like messing with, you know, test tubes or something. I don't know. But, like, <laughs> test tubes. Like Marlon Brando eating the fruit during Apocalypse Now. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have you, like, skimming through Freud or something. <laughs> Be like, wow, this book's a hundred-something years old, because obviously <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's still on paper. <laughs> I download all my books now. Yeah, they do that, yeah. <laughs> the Matrix has that. They just insert chips to, like, learn martial arts. Right? Oh, yeah, yep. It reminded me of Philip K. Dick a little bit. Like, yeah. The, I love that kind of stuff. The, I read the book to Android's Dream of Electric Sheep, and it has, like, uh, these mood organs, they're called. It's, like, these boxes that, like, shoot out, like, uh, uh, I don't know if it's a, electromagnetic or, or, like, hormonal or, or whatever information to the brain and, like, force you to have moods. Uh, so like, you know, one of the funniest so, ones. So is, essentially, it'll like the mood to your... watch TV no matter what's on. Beep beep beep, beep no. and then that's your mood. Oh, so it's <laughs> so it's not even in the sense of like enjoying the show. It's just let me press a button yeah. and I just want to enjoy yeah. it. Or like, uh, Decker tries to get his wife Iran to uh, listen uh, to to. Uh, punch in for the mood, uh, o obedience to your husband, <laughs> and instead she, she punches in for a black despair. <laughs> and then there's also, there's also, a, a, that book is so crazy, it also has empathy boxes, where they, like, sort of log on and merge with the consciousness of this, <laughs> of this, like, messianic like, Christ figure okay. that is always, like, crawling over these rocks, and, like, it's just, and, like, they get hurt when he gets hurt. It's a very strange book. It's really good. 
But just the idea of extracting your unconscious and talking to it, like, I think it's such a great idea because the unconscious by definition is what you don't know about yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's intrinsically surprising to be yeah. talking to your unconscious. Everything that it's telling you is like something you don't know about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like he it literally mentions, oh, well, you hung out with John 1,500 times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though I wrote subconscious, so I probably got, got it mixed up. Oh, it's a, well, yeah, it's about the same. I mean, subconscious means below consciousness, unconscious means what you're not conscious of. So it's basically the same thing. I don't know if there is a distinction. Well, you use unconscious, unconscious when you're, like, knocked out, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, knocked subconscious. <laughs> yeah, you don't say that. 